Mr. Speaker, the 1999 Constitution as amended makes provisions for the executive to get clearance from the assembly in order to appoint special advisors. Mr. Speaker, what the governor has done today is to fulfill that aspect of the Constitution. Mr. Speaker, if we want to draw our strength from the powers conferred on us by the Constitution, and if we want to also help the new government by hitting the ground straight and to commence the developmental activities of this present administration, Mr. Speaker, I want to employ us in the same spirit that we have extended cooperation to immediate past government in terms of executive. I want us to extend that same spirit of cooperation so that this government can commence the developmental activities that have been allied by our great party during the electionary campaign. Brand new government, the party is asking us to give you approval at that point 40 of our sons and daughters to then be the us and take up work. So there's no need to waste your time. Uh, he, the, the, the executive governor, um, uh, Senator Basi Edet Otu, did constitutionally what he's, um, what he's supposed to do by seeking approval um, from the Cross of our State House of Assembly uh, to appoint 40 special advisors. Of course, I know he's uh, entitled to uh, even more, uh, depending on the size of the government he wants to, um, to put in place. Uh, but um, he has acted constitutionally, and the House of Assembly uh, has graciously you know, given accelerated approval you know, to his requests. I, I believe that is the first... Um, uh, the first benefit that uh, the incumbent governor, uh, you know, has received from the legislature. And I believe that uh, because this has gone this way, uh, unhindered, uh, by the way he is going to relate with the, uh, with the House of Assembly, he's, he's going to get uh, many more approvals that are within the ambit of, of the law and the thinking of a reasonable man. I've been here for eight years and I know the power of the legislation. So I, the message is that we should work together harmoniously for the interests of Cross River State and to ensure that the past bills and motion are going to move Cross River State forward. Cross River State is moving in the right direction. Uh, and we have said before and we have said it again and we'll continue to say it. We are going to put the people of Cross River State first. And by doing so, we are going to ensure that we take the best decisions for Cross River State. We we'll make sure we take the best decision that is going to set Cross River State in a path of prosperity. We've taken a decision that anything we do, we are going to seek the consent of the people. And it's going to be a people-oriented government. The Ninth Assembly was the engine room of the last administration. So whenever a government uh, bill is sent into the House of Assembly, we ensure that we do our best. Sometime on Christmas Day we were here working to ensure that the state has a budget. Right? So I am charging the new set of people to come here to know that why they were elected first is to come and work for Cross River State and serve the people, irrespective of the time, irrespective of the challenges, irrespective of the difficulties. But working for Cross River State is the first reason why they are here. So finally, I'm not going to be Mr. Speaker. And uh, two, the emotion that go oh, look at the people I've groomed, the people I've worked with for 12 years, I'm leaving them behind, or I'm now moving to a new place. I mean, you definitely have a mixed feeling. Then the other feeling is I'm going to higher ground, which is the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the Red Chambers. Today is our last day, like you rightly remark, and I give glory to God. I was first elected in 2015. Whether this time we lost some members who were very close to us. So by my assessment, I think that we have done well. Then for the incoming member, I wish him all the best. We came, I saw, and I succeeded. I should say that. Because so many people thought or think as a member, when you come to the house, you should have a log ahead with the executive, and it's not true. When you do that, you're not only hurting yourself, 
but they are hurting the people you are representing. That wasn't the case of the Ninth Assembly. We cooperated with the executive and I urge the incoming members, the Tenth Assembly, to do the same, to have a successful... The joint sitting today was fantastic. It was very sweet. We, the new members elect, uh, we really have a good time today because some of us, this is the first time of coming to the house. So we have actually learned a lot from the house today and it's going to help us on our first day in the house as a new member they let. In a legislative like this, they have a standard and we'll follow the rule. By so doing, I think we'll stay in harmony with the executive. In the house like this, there's nothing like party. We are here to represent our people and to make the, to help the executive so that things will go well with him. So here, party aside, we we'll work as a family here in the house. From what I learned today, uh, working hand in hand with the executive paved way for a lot of development in the state. Unity of purpose, being patient in the house will help us to achieve collectively. So I've learned that today. I believe that with one purpose, we can achieve a lot.